cancer is survivable. It's not a death sentence. I had stage four cancer and I'm, I'm still here. I had cancer three times and I'm still here. Got up in the morning, uh, got out of the shower, and I had a lump in my groin. Scared the crap out of me. I didn't know what it was. Um, it was about the size of a golf ball. I went to the hospital and they did a CT scan of uh, my entire body. And um, my doctor, the emergency room doctor came in to see me and said, it seems as though you may have something going on. Uh, what is that something? We're not sure, but it's possibly cancer. So um, I went to see an oncologist the next day who had all the final results, and they also did a biopsy of the lump. I didn't feel scared. I knew that I would beat whatever it was, but I was fearful for how I would beat it. I knew I could, but I was afraid for how. And I walked in, and within two minutes of sitting down, the doctor said, you have diffuse large B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And then the day after Christmas, I went in and had my first surgery. And that was to uh, remove the enlarged lymph node in my groin and then have a biopsy just to make sure. During the course of my chemotherapy treatments for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, I had a lump in my neck that would shrink and come back again. And PET, PET scans showed I had hot spots in my neck. And my wife and I said, wow, we're not very comfortable with what's going on here. And I had an oncologist at the University of Pennsylvania down in Philadelphia, who I had been seeing as kind of a second opinion. His name was Jack Goldberg. So I came down to see him and he looked at the lump in my neck and said, you do not have non-Hodgkin's lymphoma anymore. What you do have is something else and you need to see a doctor named Greg Weinstein as soon as possible. Um, I saw him, um, he looked at me and said, I know what that is, but I'm gonna biopsy it just to make sure. He came back in again, and he came, this time he came back in with four other people. And I remember the four other people. They all stood there, and they all had long faces. He sat down and said, you have cancer again. And I looked at him, and I said, what? And he said, yes, you have squamous cell cancer. It's, we call it head and neck cancer. And, um, he said, you're stage four. And <laughs> I'm sorry. And um, I said, how can that be? I just went through chemotherapy. He said, well, this is a different cancer. This is caused by HPV. So I started crying. And um, as I stood up to reach for a box of tissues, I stood up and I he assumed I stood up for, to come to him. So he stood up and gave me a hug. And he hugged me. And he said to me in my ear, he says, don't worry, I'll make you better. He said, I'm telling you, if you'd come to me about a month from now, I wouldn't have as good a news for you. After all the treatment, the radiation, the chemotherapy, um, it was 2008 and March 2008, um, Greg Weinstein declared me, declared me free of neck and throat cancer. A little over a year and a half ago, I started getting night sweats. It's a symptom of non-Hodgkin's. There was a weekend that was really bad, and I was sick in bed and sick, and she finally took me to the emergency room. And they did a CT scan of my, of my abdomen, which had been very painful. And when they came back in, I looked at her, and she and I knew right away. They didn't even have to say anything. They said, your stomach is lit up. Your lymph nodes are all lit up in your abdomen. So I went in the hospital in Philadelphia, had some lymph nodes removed, and they diagnosed it for sure as a recurrence of diffuse large B cell, which was a huge relief because it hadn't been a mantle cell or stem cell or T cell. Um, it wouldn't have been very good news. I felt really weak and bad after the initial treatments, but I was fortunate enough to go into 
the stem cell transplant program at the University of Pennsylvania. And they put the stem cells back in me and that, a month later, after my immune system rebuilt itself, they sent me home. I feel great. Um, I'm six months out of um, the end of my stem cell program, and um, I feel pretty good. I feel really good. I still have days where I get tired, and I don't feel right, but I'm okay. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm very blessed. That's my third time now. People need to know that they shouldn't be afraid of cancer. It's a scary diagnosis. It's very scary. But they also need to know that it's curable, that it can be beaten. The minute you hear yourself say, I can't do this, stop. Find help and change it because cancer is curable. And even the people who have said, oh, well, I have something that's not good, don't ever give up. The one thing I need people to know is that the biggest part to, to surviving cancer is right here.